Hi, Patrick here, Half Cheater Will View, and it's Tuesday. If it's Tuesday, that only can mean one thing. It must be it's library day. And all you sharp eye folks will probably realize that I did not do a library day last week because I got skunked. That's right. Uh, I went down to the library and uh, it was a desert. It was a ghost town. It was a graveyard. There was nothing there for me at all. So uh, no point in putting a video up saying that uh, I didn't get nothing. Um, so, of course, you worry about that starting to be a trend. I like, okay, it's a, it's a good ride over. Does that mean that our winter going to be kicking a little bit earlier than expected? Uh, you know, is it going to get more thinner? Um, well, I can honestly say that that's not the case because I got some goodies today. And uh, some pretty good goodies, I think. Um, next week is bag sale, so I expect even more. Um, and with the, with uh, everything being a quarter as it is, uh, I'm able to uh, take some chances on some some films now in hopes of getting you know DVDs now and hoping getting some DVD Blu-rays later. Uh, and I'll sh I'll show you what I mean. But for now, let's get into it, shall we? Uh, this is what I got for today at the library. Uh, I got the DVDs out first, and some of you guys might be surprised as hell to see this, but this is absolutely true. But I got the first Candyman I didn't have in my collection. This is the original Candyman with Tony Todd and Virginia Madsen. So I had not, I did not have this in my collection. I had the, uh, I had the sequel, the, the reboot, uh, but I did not have the original. So now I do. So yes, yeah, so you can definitely expect me to be talking about this one soon. All right, so I got Candyman there. Uh, next up, I got a factory seal season. Of Top Gear. This is Top Gear Season 10. This is a really fun show. My buddy Catfish, uh, he's the one that turned me on to this show. Uh, this is a, a English show and has a lot to do with cars and speed and all sorts of wackiness. And it's a really, really fun show. I, I, I've seen it a few times. I, got, I even got a season at, uh, at the Dollar Tree. Uh, but this one was factory sealed, brand new, four quarter, could not pass that up. All right, um, let's see what else we got. Next up, we got a copy of Chaos Walking. Now, I've heard a little bit about this, but not too much. I know it's Tom Holland and Dizzy Ridley uh, from the Star Wars uh, uh, from the Star Wars uh, uh, series and from Spider Man, but that's all I really know about it. Um, I don't know too much. Um, I, I heard it was entertaining, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, and this is a this is an example of getting a DVD now for a quarter because you just don't know if there's going to be a Blu-ray release later. I'm hoping that next week the library will release a Blu-ray of this, and I'll get that. And this one I can I can donate, but for a quarter, why not? Uh, next up is a movie called Happily. Which I don't really know but too much about this one at all. I know it has uh, Joel McHale in it and Carrie Beach, who I remember seeing from Scrubs, the last season of Scrubs. And she's really, really cute. Uh, so I went ahead and picked this up as well. It looks to be like a comedy. Uh, uh, looks, uh, a dark. It says it's a dark romantic comedy. I don't know if I've seen a dark romantic comedy yet, but well, I guess I am now. So this is Happily. Ooh, speaking of, speaking of Haunted... Uh, so, uh, I was very happy to see this, and this is, yet again, is another example of, I'm getting it now on DVD, in hopes that I get a Blu-ray copy of it later, but I finally got it, it finally hit the library shelf, and thank you, Elaine, for spotting it for me. Um, I got a copy of Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. So, this is the movie, I was, this is actually the number one movie on my watch list. This is the one movie I wanted currently. This is, this was my current number one to look for. So every every uh every day every week I go to the library and this is the movie I was looking for. So I got a, a DVD copy of it. This is the only copy they had, but we'll hope that next week during bag sale they will drop off a Blu-ray copy and I'll be able to upgrade. And yes, kids. Oh my light. I know. <laughs> I think it's, I think I think my light surprised. And yes, uh, in case you guys have or have haven't haven't it living in the real world, uh, yeah, this is the A24 film. So this is my 29th A24 film in my collection. 
29th. I don't know what's wrong with me. And then, uh, to add even more excitement, I found a copy of a, I found a movie I have not seen or, uh, in, in four months. It might even be five months. It was like one of the first trips I went back to the library. And some of you guys might remember this. I got a really terrific haul. I got 10 Criterion movies for a dollar a piece. Well, got one more for a quarter. <laughs> so this is Dead Man with Johnny Depp, uh, directed by uh, Jim Jerush. And this is spine number, oh, I don't know if the spine number, I can't see it. Let's see. Nope, I don't know what the spine number is. Um, but, because uh, it's covered by uh, the library sticker. Uh, but yeah, I was happy to see a Criterion movie. I don't care what it was. Super cool to see this back on the shelves. I've been waiting for these to come back for, for months. And this is the first one I've seen since then. Uh, I saw a donated copy of a, of a, a Criterion movie. But like I said, that was uh, the Royal Tenenbaums. And every thrift store has copies of the Royal Tenenbaums. They overproduced that movie. Um, so this is, this, this is from 1995. And like I said, it starred Johnny Depp, and um, it's supposed to be quite good. And I do believe it has some uh, music with uh, Neil Young, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Neil Young did the score for this. I think that's, like, that's, that's the only, really th only thing I really remember about the movie, was Neil Young was involved in it in the score. I um, have not seen it, but uh, looking forward to it. And uh, so there you go. A Criterion for a Quarter. All right, so I got some uh, I got some uh, uh, Blu-rays here to talk about. Uh, let's see, I got a couple of upgrades here. Um, I had these on D on DVD, but I went ahead and upgraded anyway. Uh, number one being uh, this is supposed to be a very intense movie, by the way, and uh, maybe we'll be covering this in the Midnight Society if I can talk the bat into it. But it's buried with Ryan Reynolds. This is a very intense movie. Very suspenseful, thriller, horror. Uh, it might be one of Ryan Reynolds' better uh, dramatic performances. Uh, he also was really quite good in The Captive, which is an A24 film, so shut up. Leave me alone. Quit picking on me. Uh, <laughs> uh, so this is a uh, this is this is an upgrade. I have this I have this movie on DVD, but I saw this on the old uh, old uh, uh, Blockbuster case, and I went and grabbed it for a quarter to upgrade it. And upgraded this as well. Uh, the Dawn of the Dead remake. This is my favorite zombie movie of all time. This is the bomb right here. Um, I, I, do, I know that the Night of the Living Dead is probably more important in terms of historic value and... Um, but uh, uh, and everything else, and uh, you know, it's a very strong story. It's really great acting, but everything that the Night of the Living Dead was, Dawn of the Dead remake went one higher. This is a sensational movie, uh, truly, truly one of the best horror films I've ever seen. Uh, really enjoyed it uh, uh, quite a bit. The only, thing, my only complaint about this, and this is a director's cut. Which I hope that means that they put some added time onto it because that's the one thing about the remake I did not like was it had such a short runtime. It really did. It was like wow, that that movie went by so fast and it seemed like it was only on for like for an hour. Um, so hopefully this is what that means. We'll get this to be upgrade. Uh, we'll get a longer running time for this. All right. Uh, next I picked up the Northmen. Um, yeah, uh, well, I can only say I can say one thing. This was not this is not a uh, um, this is not an A twenty four film. This is a Focus Features, um, but this is made by Robert Eggers, who did The Witch and The Lighthouse, which are on A twenty four. I'm telling you, I'm telling, you, I'm getting paranoid about this. Uh, so I've heard that this is sensational. Uh, I can't wait to watch it. Um, I know it has Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman. Uh, Anna Joy, uh, Anna uh, Taylor Joy, who appeared in The Witch, uh, for uh, Robert Eggers, and uh, Ethan Hawke and William Defoe, William Defoe in a in a sword movie. That would be quite interesting to see. Um, I don't know how well this movie did. I know I know it came out and it, it sort of disappeared a little bit. I know I don't think it did quite the numbers as the as at least The Witch. Uh, I could be wrong about that. 
um, but this is a more mainstream release, so I don't know. But Robert Eggers is a good director. Um, let's see, how long is this movie? This movie will probably be about three hours long. So, because he loves making long movies, so there you go. Uh, okay, I do believe this is going to be an upgrade as well. I think I have this on DVD, and that is The Favorites. The Favorite, which is supposed to be quite a good movie. Uh, this stars uh, Olivia Coleman, uh, Rachel Weiss, and uh, Emma Stone. So, it's supposed to be quite good, uh, but we'll see. Uh, I got a copy of Chappaquiddick, which I don't know why. I think I got this already. I didn't check my letterbox before I left because I don't expect to find anything, really. Everything I expect, you know, it's like a rabbit. It's only for a quarter, so if I did get to have it, a, a, another copy, it's only a quarter. Um, but, um, but yeah, Chappaquiddick, this is about uh, uh, Edward Kennedy, his faithful car ride where uh, a young lady was killed, and they attempted to cover it up. And not to a good, not a good deal, and it pretty much marked the end of the Kennedy family as far as being truly influential. Um, uh, and and you know now their family name is always attached to this movie in, into this event. Okay, I picked this up. Someone privately donated this one. Um, Blu-ray uh, slipcover, director's cut of Terminator Salvation. So, uh, of course, this one's the one that has, uh, this one has, this one has, um, uh, who's in this one? Let's see, uh, Christian Bale. So, Christian Bale, Sam Worthington, Anton Yel Yelchin. Man, he, that young man did a lot of movies before he passed so soon. Um, the lovely Moon Bloodgood is in this movie as well. Sensational looking actress, really good actress. I know a lot of people don't like this too much. I, I do believe when I watched this, I, I wasn't, I, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. So, uh, last time I did this, I was mentioning about, and I just mentioned earlier about, uh, you know, you go and you buy a DVD copy of a movie, and you hope that the Blu-ray will come in. But for, for, you know, it's easier to do when it's a quarter. And lo and behold, that's exactly what happened today. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got this movie at the library on DVD. Uh, I got it in hopes and, and that it would come out in, in Blu-ray, and it did, and I got it. So this is the Nick, Nicholas Cage movie, uh, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. So I managed to get this on Blu-ray, so happy about that. And then this movie is one I really wanted to see, and I... I was hoping that it would come out, but you know I didn't. I didn't have really high hopes for it. Um, I saw all the previews and all the articles online, and it, it seemed really charming for me. And uh, yeah, okay, so I wanted to see it. So you know, is it a horror film? Is it a, is it action packed? Is it a thriller, suspense? No, no, not really. It's a it's a British uh, British movie, <laughs> a, a dramedy, so to speak. Uh, Mrs. Harris goes to Paris. <laughs> So, yep, this is the one I, this, this is also on my watch list. So, I went ahead and got a copy of this. So, uh, very happy to get it. And, uh, yeah. And, um, yeah, that's all I got. Not bad, is it? I, I think, I think I did pretty good this week. Um, and of course, this gives me high hopes for bag sale, uh, next week. Hopefully, we will get some, uh, hopefully we'll get some really good stuff next week. Uh, but that's my haul for this week. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, consider hitting the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Let you know I do when I do haul videos. I try to do library movie a library day every Tuesday, uh, provided I do find something. I have to find something in order to talk about it. Um, and this week I did, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, um, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you uh, next Tuesday uh, or tonight at eight o'clock. If you want to come back and watch me interview Ken and Ashley uh, Sledge from Sledgehammer Horror, they'll be we'll be on at eight o'clock Eastern time, and uh, look forward to seeing you there. Peace.